We will all soon be driving Chinese cars, but can we trust them? The world's largest car manufacturer is poised to be even more dominant than Japan ever was. But trust issues still remain. Japan's first attempt at selling cars to Britons didn't go well. The Daihatsu Campagno, a technically competent car, failed to attract buyers due to its high price and slow performance. But it was just a warning shot. Five years later, Japan introduced the Datsun Cherry, which quickly became popular and paved the way for Japanese car dominance in the UK. Now, China is experiencing its own Datsun Cherry moment. Chinese cars, like the MG5 EV estate, have gained significant market saturation and are changing Britain's perception of Chinese automotive quality. Chinese brands like MG, Great Wall, and BYD are meeting local needs for zero-emission electric cars at affordable prices, something European manufacturers have struggled to do. While China is already an established manufacturer in the UK, with many electric cars being built there, Chinese branded cars are now readying their debut in the UK market. Brands like Great Wall, Cherry, Hi-Fi, Xpeng, and Neo are preparing to enter the scene, offering more choices to consumers as the market transitions to electric vehicles. However, there are concerns about China's ownership of battery technology, which puts European brands at a competitive disadvantage. The European Commission estimates that EVs are around a fifth cheaper to build in China than in the EU. This, coupled with China's human rights abuses and political alignment with Russia, has led to skepticism and mistrust. But unless backed up with regulation and incentives, these sentiments may not count for much. Chinese cars are becoming increasingly good, and in just two years they'll be excellent. Telling Britons that they need to buy EVs but can't have the affordable, well-designed, and high-performance models offered by Chinese brands will be a difficult argument to make. However, there are concerns from viewers. Some worry about the security risks associated with Chinese battery manufacturers like CATL. Others express their unwillingness to support Chinese companies due to human rights abuses and lack of trust. Some even question the availability of spare parts in the future. So, while Chinese cars are gaining traction and becoming more popular, the question of trust remains. Can we trust Chinese cars? Only time will tell.